Welcome to the AWS Summit in New York City. My name is Aaron Hunter. I'm a principal developer advocate on the AWS Training Life team, joined with my good friend Trevor. Hey everybody, Trevor Spires. I am a solutions architect here with the AWS FinTech organization. Excited to talk to you all about something, something fancy and new today. But we won't go there first, oh, right. Trevor. We actually just <laughs> broke, so AWS Training and Certification just announced this morning right. that we have exceeded our goal of 29 million individuals trained. Now we're at 31 million. 31 million and humans. Count, uh, thir yeah, 31 million humans trained uh, individuals. And we're, we're not stopping there because we have a brand new product that's part of the game-based learning platform. But first, what is game-based learning? What is all that thing? Should we talk about that real quick? I, I suppose we probably should before we go into it. Game-based learning, uh, to me, it, it, it's what it sounds like. It's a, it is a learning environment where people can have this kind of gamified experience. Um, there's, a, there's actually a few different games that we have available on AWS Skill Builder today. We've got Cloud Quest, we've got Escape Room, we've got help Card me out. Clash. Card Clash. I love Card Clash. There's, That's there's one of my, Card one Clash, of my there's uh, AWS, the uh, Cloud Quest recertify. So if you have your cloud practitioner and if it's, if it's getting ready to expire but hasn't yet, you can recertify that through AWS Cloud Quest. So that was for Industry Quest. Oh, yes. Industry Quest. And we'll talk more about different roles and industries with the brand new AWS Simulator that was announced today and launched. So should we dive into that? We should dive into okay. it, it's the reason we're here. It's the reason we're here. So once the screen gets pulled up, we'll go ahead and kind of walk through the AWS Simulearn uh, landing page and we'll tell people what Simulearn is and how people can use that, the different benefits of it. So this is the Simulearn Generative AI uh, tab right here. But if you go back over to the main AWS Simulearn tab, then that'll walk through, yep, here we go. So about AWS Simulearn, it is a generative AI focused uh, with two different options, right? So there's the, um, what is it? The tailored version. Yes. Uh, where yeah. There is a there is like a scripted mode, scripted and then mode. there is an open dialogue mode. We'll get into that a little bit more soon. We're gonna do a demo soon, so yes. stay tuned, everyone. But it, it's pretty it's pretty cool, right? You can you can either go through uh, effectively. You know, Simulearn is a, is an AI based uh, simulation where yes. you're interacting with an NPC that's like role playing as. Uh, a, 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 a customer or somebody with a need, and you get well, to do discovery, kind of, well, kind of walk I mean, through. Ki kind of, right? There's kinda. An NPC is non-playable character. This is yeah. a playable character. I guess I, it's I generative, guess so. generative AI character. What, what do we call it? Do we call those NPCs? Is it is it G, G A I P C? I like it. Okay. G, it uh, that's official G A I P C. So it's a generative AI playing character where you can have prompts and you can ask the player, um, the the technical person about what services. Yep. So you're understanding the customer scenario and based on a role or an industry. So if you scroll down on that page there, you can see the benefits, but you can also see that there's some role playing options or role learning plans. And then if we scroll down further, there's industry learning plans to help people. And there's individual topic simulations where people can um, dive deep into, let's say, deploying RESTful APIs or similar an API with databases and whatever it is. So Trevor? Should we jump into the learning plan for generative AI? I think we should definitely, we got to talk about the learning plan for generative AI. I think that's where a lot of people will start. Plus it's just kind of kind of cool. To it be. is so cool. It's, it's an AI based learning game and we're talking about the AI training path. I mean, come on. Uh, but yeah, that, that I'm looking at right now the landing page for the Simulator and generative AI training path. We can get a high level overview here, but I want to pop into the learning structure uh, so you all can see it, 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 we have more than 20 different simulations from getting started on AWS, very simple first steps with cloud computing, all the way to uh, building complex uh, applications with Bedrock and Langchain. So complex. So complex, <laughs> but so complex. But it's really not because it, 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 it teaches you like not only soft skills, but yep. also the technical skills. It's great, it's like in my day job, I'm a solutions architect, right? So like th this is the, the closest I've ever seen to simulating that scenario of being dropped into a room with a customer that says, hey, I have a problem and I need help figuring it out. So Right, because you're a solutions architect, so you do this day in and day out with customers all the time. I do, I try my best. Okay, so let's pretend like we're working with a customer and jump into the game. I love it. Let's go ahead and get right in. We're going to walk through a learning scenario that is how to, how to build a generative AI app for teaching and learning. And I'm going to actually choose the open dialogue mode uh, so that way we can interact in real time with, what are we calling them, GAI PCs? I'm going I'm to go with that. We're going to go with that, yeah. the generative hey, AI power. Hey, product team, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing, amazing. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. You're looking at 
right now the UI for Simulearn, OK? I'm going to, before I get into the simulation, I just want to draw your attention to a few things. Like, left-hand side, we have a customer, a, a meeting, We're simulated in a meeting. meeting, Yes. right? So I'm in a meeting with Richard, the technical trainer, a technical lead, and myself, and they're going to start asking me questions for help. My mission is to simply, by learning about their requirements and uncovering and ultimately suggesting AWS services to help meet their requirements and needs, is to build out this architecture in this conversational way. Uh, I see, I see it's very clear. We know exactly which services that we're supposed to be using in the architecture. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, in fact, it, it is ambiguous. <laughs> it is vague because m many solution requirements start that way. They start with something as simple. In fact, let, let's find out what yes. Richard wants to build. He says, Hi uh, there, welcome. I heard you are an AWS specialist. Are you, Trevor? I, I've been called a bit of an AWS specialist. Okay, yes. cool. Could you please help me determine the best AWS service services for my company's needs? Now, that's very ambiguous, and I, I imagine most conversations maybe start that way. So, how do we find out? So, you're typing, what are your company's needs? That's right. A, a, a nice a, a question to get them to elaborate more on the problem, right? So, this is we're just, we're starting the discussion, and what's great now is this generative AI-based character will respond with a very specific solution that they want oh, to build. Wait, hold on, wait, what happened on the right? Oh. So Dr. Newton over here on the right-hand side is evaluating your response and your listening skills. This is the soft skills portion of uh, AWS uh, Simulator. Absolutely, this, this is what I, like, th this, t this goes beyond just uh, simple hands-on lab-based learning or like quiz-based learning, which is great, but this is actually rating you on things like communication skills, customer focus, all of these different problem areas beyond, again, just your ability to, to make a technical recommendation. It's how you're interacting with the customer, how you're doing that discovery with the customer. So, so, so far, you're rated five stars or five bars for your uh, communication skills and also your customer focus because you're trying to address what their needs are and listen to them, but no, not yet a whole lot for problem solving skills. So let's let's get that number up a little bit. We're going to get it up. We're gonna, first, we're, we're going to uh, bump up problem solving skills by, by recommending, uh, just looking at what they need, right? A, a quick glance at their requirements. They like to look at emerging technologies like AI uh, to build something for their students. And so uh, I'm going to make a bold choice here just for, for the sake of time rather than ask a bunch of discovery questions. When I hear AI and I look at this diagram where we're, we're going to query based on an image and get feedback, I think one of my favorite AWS services, I think Amazon Bedrock. So I'm going to start bold. Oh. Yeah. You're just jumping straight into it. I'm, I'm jumping, uh, I'm going to, don't get me wrong, I'm going to ask some discovery questions here, but I, I got to get my technical knowledge uh, to, to go Should up. Should we there. explain real quick what Amazon Bedrock is? Sure. Okay. Amazon Bedrock. <laughs> I thought you were going to explain it. Yeah, Amazon Bedrock is a serverless, uh, pay-as-you-go service to help customers launch, scale, deploy, and test generative AI-based applications. There's a lot of what we call foundation models available, some cutting edge models from partners like Anthropic as well as some AWS Titan family models and many, many more sprinkled in. But it's a set of APIs and tools for people to build and scale generative AI apps. Also, uh, pretty easy to get off the ground. So if you ever heard of Anthropics, Clyde, or Sonnet, Sonnet 3.5, yeah? That's a really hot in the news right now and it's really powerful and it can do a whole lot. Also, it's, it's cheaper too than, than Sonnet 3, isn't it? I, 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 I would call it, uh, I would say it has better price performance. Yes. That's what I would say. Yes. That's what I would say. Yes, on message. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Th uh, three, five, a lot of people oh, are excited about that. Okay, one. okay. There's a, there's a question in the chat from Chaos Monkey. Why don't you ask Dr. Newton what Amazon Bedrock is? Oh, that's an interesting Ooh. suggestion. Can we do that? I, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. Uh, first, I just want to show you all what, what, what happens, right? I, I suggested the service in this architecture. So, again, we're going to slowly build this out by asking more questions and suggesting more AWS services. And as someone in the cat chat uh, pointed out. Wait, hold on. The technical lead is asking you questions. Is the technical lead polling you? Yeah. So, the technical lead is going to assess my knowledge of the service that I just recommended, right? So, I just recommended Bedrock, and this tech, tech lead says, hey, I, I got a question. Um, can this help improve code quality and security? The answer is absolutely, yes, it can. Yep. And I'm going to just take a quick peek. Oh, looky there. Some of my problem solving, well, yes. my problem solving still needs some work. But customer focus, technical knowledge, we're, we're moving on up in the world. Can I get an elbow pump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Double elbow pump. Double elbow pump. <laughs> uh, so, Dr. Newton, right? Dr. Newton is going to be your, your AI tutor, your, your, yes. your guide while you are playing this game. So, if you run into questions or you get stuck, by the way, getting stuck in a game like this, that's okay. That's where the learning happens, right? When you get stuck, when you don't know the answer, it's okay. 
in this safe environment and in this like single console to, to ask a question. So and at Amazon, we have leadership principles, and one of them is dive deep. And this is allowing you to dive deep into this technology to allow you the opportunity to learn more. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's, it's it, I like the experience of being able to do all this in one interface. Yes. And, and I really, again, this is very cool. Let's, let's, let's talk to, to Dr. Newton. What is, AW, what is Amazon Bedrock? What is Amazon Bedrock, Dr. Newton? Hmm, let's see what you say. I bet he'll, he'll, he'll give us something nice. Let, let's see. Okay, thinking, it's the, it's the three dots, so he's typing a response. He is. He, well, yeah. well I, don't know, I don't know if AIs type. And I, he's generating a response. Generating, no, okay. Th actually, there, there, there's an there's a AI on a keyboard uh, uh, behind, behind the desk here. Uh, typing all the, uh, typing <laughs> just, all these just hidden right back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so as you can see, uh, Dr. Newton gave yes. us a good response, but that's what he's here for. Yes. E even to take it further, right? Let's say that I hit a situation where uh, I, I have a requirement from the customer. In this case, they're saying, I have a storage solution and I need to store multimedia files, uh, like images and videos. They point out they need to store PDFs, Word document, PowerPoints, et cetera. So, DynamoDB. Uh, DynamoDB. You know, that is an interesting switch. I think it's S3, but like, uh, let's... I mean, you're probably right, because these objects or these, these files are probably too big for DynamoDB. I think so. So I, we probably need like an S3 with a pointer or something. I could see Dynamo working well for like storing the metadata. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and suggest I suggest Amazon S3 for secure, scalable object storage. Store it. I wonder store if it's it. Gonna, store it. Yeah. Store it. It'll know. It's okay. It's, let's see. Let's AI is good with typos. It, is it? it? It is when they're sitting right here under, under, <laughs> under the desk listening to, to everything we're saying. All right. Store it. Let's, oh, hey, got it. And the fireworks. Oh, my gosh. In the U.S., we had 4th of July. There were fireworks everywhere. And you got fireworks inside the game. So it's celebrating you. It's celebrating. It's very timely, these fireworks. We got it, Amazon S3. I think you all get the, the idea here, right? We're going to continue building this out. It's going to validate your knowledge with this technical lead. By the way, this is reality. There's always a technical lead in the room, like, hey, yep. okay, but does that really do like what I need it to do? So th th it, I, I like the... Uh, I They're like going to ask those challenging questions to make sure that we understand their use case and that our proposal for their, their architecture is going to actually satisfy what they need for their customers. That's right. You can see even I got, a, I got an answer wrong here, and it's going to give me the doc uh, to, to point me in the right direction for that answer. Or I could jump right over to doc, Dr. Newton. Would you say you got the answer wrong, or you discovered a new learning opportunity? I'm going to say I discovered a new learning opportunity, um, and I also just clicked a random answer. And, <laughs> and so there was a one in four chance. OK. All right. Wait, so could this be maybe good for exam prep because you're actually getting some practical hands-on experience and, and some new knowledge, yeah? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, I would say for sure if you're starting to prep for an exam, like this is the type of, like when I think about like the solution architect, the associate exam, like really this is the bread of, and butter in that, of that exam is kind of building out different solutions with these AWS services, these kind of Lego blocks that we have You're thinking SA Associate? I'm thinking the AI practitioner foundation that is in beta right now. I haven't taken that one yet, but, I, but I'm real excited. I haven't I'm real yet. excited. No one can until August 13th. Get ready for that one, folks. <laughs> August 13th is a big, big day. So by the way, while we were chit-chatting, yes. I'm just multitasking here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and ask Dr. Newton to help me out with this next requirement so we can just speed through here. and So efficient. Yes. Thank you. And he's suggested application load balancer. I suggest ALB to distribute traffic. Which is an application load balancer. That's what ALB is. That is. What ALB is yes. is application load balance. That's a lo that's what you use to like make sure that you're proxying traffic from outside of your Amazon world into your Amazon VPCs into your applications. Very yes. very common service used in many many different web architectures out there. And boom, we got some more fireworks. More fireworks. So another another card, another service card is being added to this architecture diagram. Very similar to Card Clash, which yeah. is the other game based learning platform. That's right. Very similar to Card Clash. The, the difference being in this case, I I, I think this is. Uh, is is challenging a lot of ways in that like it's so open ended. Yes. It's so it's so I, I think this is a, again great for folks that want to maybe study for a cert, who uh, want to just up their uh, soft skills and 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 builder skills, but also uh, and I, I'm gonna if if it's all right, yeah. I'm gonna say let's let's go on to the next phase here so folks can see like okay let let let's fast forward here we've okay. built out this architecture okay. right so I've got this AI learning tool huge success. But 
that's only half the problem, right? Like, you, I think to, to really be a knowledgeable uh, practitioner of AWS, you need to go, you need to dive deeper. You have right? to practice. You have to practice. You have to get hands-on practice. Well, do I have a treat for you? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this meeting because I want to get to building. All okay. right. So as soon as you're done with the meeting, we can jump into a lab-based scenario in a sandbox environment within Skill Builder to actually build out that architecture, right? So you so go from... We just went from learn on the left, number one, and now we're going into practice. That's right. Perfect. We went from learn to practice. So this is, I mean, again, you start with discovery and design, and now we're going to start actually deploying this thing uh, and, and making sure it works like, like we said it would. So I'm going to continue through here. Dr. And Newton is giving you some, some tips and tricks and then you can ask Dr. Dr. Newton more questions if you have them in the chat here. So Dr. Newton is your AWS assistant to help you learn more and grow your skills with AWS and whatever services you have questions about for this scenario specifically. So let's go ahead and jump into the, the practice area here. Dr. Newton, I appreciate you. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't know if he cares if I appreciate him, but I, I want my AI friends to feel appreciated. All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> unfortunately, we, we don't have time to go through the full build of this lab, right? But what I want to show you is, is very simple. We're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. Oh, hey, look, there's DynamoDB. I called it. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. yes, thank you. Look at that. That is our, that is our solution. The things that we missed, Dynamo, to, to store the metadata. Yep. That's probably referencing the objects in the S3. Pointer, yeah. And then we've got our uh, container e service. ECS, which is just going to run the, the servers that are actually coordinating all of this amazingness. If I were building this, I might put like an Amazon SDK on that server, or I might put like Langchain on that server to orchestrate all of these fun things I've won. Anyway, we, are, we have options. this. Many options. In this environment, we're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. We, have a we can go back to the dialogue with our customer. We can also get our assistant, Dr. Newton, engaged if we get stuck. And we actually have the option to go right into an AWS console and start building, OK? So I'm going to get logged in again via my Skill Builder account. So th I think for a lot of folks, a benefit of this is, is of course, like leveling up your skills and uh, learning how to do this discovery. But also, like the fact that we give sandbox lab environments to actually start building this stuff um, in, in a safe way, in a way where you're not going to rack up your AWS Sandbox build. environment. So that means it's not my account. I'm not spending money on it. Um, it's part of the AWS Skill Builder subscription, so $29 US dollars a month, and then you get access to this. Over 200 individual topics that you can do from Simulearn, over 600 free courses, and you get the full catalog and full suite, right? The whole enchilada, as I one time saw at an airport at Whoa. AWS ad. That, okay. that, that, was, that was an old AWS ad campaign a long time ago. I really liked it. Give the your builders the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada. Hey, yeah. let us know your favorite <laughs> enchilada type in the chat. <laughs> Cheese, beef, uh, tofu, I don't know, whatever you choose. Uh, I'm, a, I, I'm, a, I'm a seafood guy myself. Yeah. Okay. Shrimp, I'll take shrimp a shrimp enchilada, enchilada please. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have about one minute left. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up and tell people, again, where we, what we just talked about, uh, we just broke the 29 million individuals trained goal a, so almost wild. a year early. There's a blog post about that. We'll get that link in the chat. We're at 31 million and counting. Uh, and we have now six game-based learning products, CloudQuest, uh, Industry Quest, Card Clash, Escape Room, CloudQuest Recertify for those who want to recertify your cloud practitioner. And now? Sim you learn the one we just saw. Yep. And then we also have let me go ahead and pull that up over here. So you have the Simulearn individual topics. You have the industry topics or industry uh, learning plans. You have the role-based learning plans. And we just talked about the generative AI role-based learning plan. And specifically, one of those, uh, those links within or those topics within the generative AI learning plan, what was that one? The, we, we went into a generative AI app for, for teaching. That's what we built today. There's, there's more than 20 other generative AI lab, so, so log in and check it out and level up that generative AI knowledge. All right, but stay tuned for more from the AWS Summit in New York. And also, we have a link to the survey in the chat, so go ahead and click that and let us know how we did today. But thanks, everyone. Happy learning.